Hello and welcome back to my channel in today's edition of my Let's Talk About It series where I talk about all of the things that maybe you didn't learn enough about in school or your parents never taught you. I like to think of myself as the unofficial big sister of the internet. Today's topic is all about PMS, your period, menstruation, all of that fun stuff. The first thing I could not recommend more if you are not already doing this, download a period tracking app. I have one called Flow, and basically you're just logging your symptoms, you're logging your cycles, so you can be prepared. You can know what's coming, so you're not caught off guard. What they really need to do is have a feature where it automatically sends a warning to your significant other. Because let me tell you, I would pay for that feature. <laughs> Oh no, oh no. Hey honey, um, I, I got you a cake and a pizza. Um, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it right here, okay? Okay, bye. So by using a period tracker app, you can figure out what's normal for you. And what you're looking for is consistency. Bloating is typically most common the two to three days before your period. And when I tell you that I look about 20 weeks pregnant, so the first most important thing to tackle bloating is to drink a whole lot more water because if you're dehydrated, your body retains even more water and it leads to worse bloating. This one kind of hurts a little, but you're gonna wanna cut back on your caffeine for a couple reasons. Caffeine can be a diuretic causing you to, again, retain more water, but also just from the mood standpoint, it can increase irritability and even anxiety I find for myself. So I will drink decaf because I still want that coffee taste and I'll have something like a verb bar or a green tea just to have minimal amount of caffeine that doesn't also make me edgy. There are foods you want to avoid eating to prevent bloating. Cabbage, beans, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and lettuce are the big ones because our bodies lack a certain enzyme needed to process those and they can just really balloon you up. And look, when all else fails, here are my two little secrets. First, these underwear. They're thong underwear, but they have the belly band on top and it really just suctions in the bloating. Love those. And a good old fashioned pair of high-waisted leggings. Thank goodness that the high-waisted trend is a thing. Please never go anywhere. Next, let's talk about cramps, period pains. There is a hack that went viral on TikTok for period pain and then a doctor came on and validated that it does actually work. And that is massaging a certain part of your inner ear. There's an acupressure point there that can help reduce period pain. And what he recommends is using a pencil eraser and just getting it at this point in your ear. I'll show you a close up. And you massage in circular motion for one minute on each side. A lot of people swear by this and say that it really does work. So the two big, most research-backed nutrients you wanna be consuming around that time of the month are omega-3s and magnesium. The foods highest in magnesium are actually pumpkin seeds, almonds, and cashews. So get your nuts nearby. I'm a huge fan of flavored pumpkin seeds and that's kind of my go-to snack when I'm PMSing. I also get my omegas, magnesium, and all the other daily essential vitamins through my daily multivitamin that I take. And I do the ritual. I've now switched to the essential for women 18 plus. I had been taking the postnatal and when I was pregnant, I did the prenatal. These are hands down the best highest quality supplements. So I have to thank Ritual for sponsoring today's video. These are specifically designed to fill the gaps in your diet because even if you're eating very healthy, there are certain nutrients that are tougher to get. What really makes these special is that the ingredients are transparent and traceable, literally transparent. If you look at the actual pill itself, they look like they're from the future. You can see what's inside. You can go on their website and click on each individual ingredient, why it's included, what it's for. You can look at the research studies that back it up and you can see where they source it from, where it comes from, and even look at the factory. When I was pregnant with Capri, I found out that the prenatal vitamins I was taking, there was a third party study done and they contained trace amounts of lead, like pretty high levels. And that shook me to my core. And that's when I started doing my own research and came across Ritual. And Ritual in that same third party study was given an A plus grade, the highest out of any of the supplements tested. These are formulated to be in their most bioavailable form and they digest in the lower intestine. So your body is actually able to absorb the nutrients that are inside of these. These are vegan, gluten-free, non-GMO, no synthetics, fillers, anything like that. It's 
truly a brand that I trust. So I just have these monthly auto ship to me so I never have to worry about forgetting or missing any days. They just come right to my door. If you're currently taking vitamins and you're just not sure about the quality, you don't love them, or if you're not taking anything at all, I could not recommend Ritual more. I am so loyal to them. So if you wanna try out Ritual, you can get 10% off your first three months if you use my link down in the description box. I just love these. I'm so passionate about them and I know you guys will love them. If you deal with cramps, a heating pad is going to be your best friend. So an easy DIY heating pad, get your little sock, fill it up with rice, and then throw that in the microwave for about one minute to one and a half minutes. It will get nice and warm and the rice retains the heat and it doesn't melt and get all soggy on you. Okay, now let's switch from PMS to the main event, your period, your monthly friend. Let me know in the comments, what do you call your period? Do you have a little name for it, nickname? Ant flow, the dot. I don't know, I feel like there's a lot of creative names out there. Now the first little period hack that if you don't know is the biggest thing you need to know, okay? Hydrogen peroxide and cold water will get blood stains out. The key is cold water, not warm or hot, and the hydrogen peroxide will just get the blood right out, and you wanna move quick, as quickly as possible before the stain sets. So always make sure you have your hydrogen peroxide on hand. So one of the worst symptoms for me when I'm on my period is just feeling lethargic and fatigued. And a big part of that is because of the blood loss, we're losing even more iron. So it's a good idea to make an extra effort to eat more iron rich foods. So things like eggs, spinach, chickpeas, a grass fed steak, a burger. Okay, so now let's talk a little bit about feminine products and some little tips and tricks I have there. The first recommendation I have, if you have not already done so, is consider switching to organic tampons. They found that regular tampons contain pesticides, synthetic, GMOs, and some have even been found to contain herbicides. And you're putting that in your body and your body's absorbing that. So I switched to these organic, non-scented tampons. They're chlorine-free, pesticide-free fragrance free and even if you don't want to go organic i would just say to go fragrance free because those fragrances can be very irritating whether it be in pads or tampon but one little thing i want to mention maybe this is tmi but since having a baby i found it a little more difficult to use tampons they were just super uncomfortable so a little tip i found is to use a water-based lubricant when inserting the tampon and it can just help make them a lot more comfortable. The whole process is a lot easier. Next up, let's talk about menstrual cups. Not only are these more sustainable because they're reusable, the other main benefit of these is they can be worn for 12 hours at a time without having to change them. And that is just so amazing. You can sleep in them overnight and not have to worry. Now, the challenge can be inserting these babies, let me just say that. My personal experience, I have not been successful yet, but I'm not giving up. I had tried the Diva Cup, but I just bought this new one by Salt. It had really great reviews, so I'm gonna try again. I really want to make this work, because I feel like this would make my life a lot easier. And also, a little trick if you use these, how to sanitize them, you boil them in water, but what you can do is put your menstrual cup in a whisk, maybe have your own dedicated whisk for this, and then just put this in a pot of boiling water for about 15 minutes to fully sanitize it. Menstrual cup in a whisk, not something you see every day. The next feminine product that I had not heard of before, I don't know how long these have been around, they're called menstrual discs, and it's a similar idea to the menstrual cup. This is what they look like, but they are not designed to be reusable. And I am also gonna try this out this month and will report back and update on my Instagram stories. So check there if you're curious. So also there are period underwear, and they're underwear that are designed to be reusable and washable that kind of have the pads built into them. I love the concept, I love the idea. So I invested in some and tried using it last month. And, uh, Let's just say did not work for me. Ended up being one of the top three most humiliating experiences of my life. I had worn them out to dinner and I wore a super absorbent pair with shorts on top. And instead of absorbing, everything just went out the sides and I was sitting on a white fabric chair. I was wearing a light colored dress. I don't know if it was just the brand that I tried. I've heard that the Thinks brand is really good. So I may try that one out next. But for me, where I really like period underwear is to wear, you know, when you know your period's coming or as an extra layer of protection. Now, what you can do if you're in a pinch and you have nothing with you, and look, I think we've all been there at some point in our life 
what you can do is get toilet paper, roll some up, and then you wanna get another long piece and wrap it around the rolled toilet paper and your underwear to keep it secure in place. That second part of it is key to prevent it from falling out. I always recommend having a period emergency kit in your car and your purse. You never want to be in that situation. So just have some backup, whatever it is you use, and some hand sanitizer. Also, if you use wipes, I would recommend going again for an organic, fragrance-free. They make these special feminine wipes, but they're paraben-free, dioxide-free, fragrance-free, organic, all of that, because your vaginal area has a very delicate pH balance, so you don't want to use anything harsh, any soaps. And just for overall feminine hygiene during that time of the month, it's best if you shower twice a day, so in the morning and at night, just to prevent any bacteria growth, odors, things like that. Another Another thing you can do to help prevent odor is to keep your pubic hair trimmed up because bacteria, sweat, dirt gets trapped in the pubic hair and can just make the situation worse. I did a whole video on feminine grooming, so if you want details on how to do that, check out that video. Now when you are showering, all you need is warm water and a washcloth. You do not need to use soap in the area, and if you do want to use soap, just make sure that it's fragrance-free and you want it between a 3.8 and 4.5 pH balance. I did find this organic intimate wash that I will sometimes use, but you don't need that. Just regular warm water and a washcloth. Last thing I want to touch on are leaks, particularly for me at night is when it's most likely to happen because you know you're rolling around, you're laying down, you're in different positions, so it just lends itself to leaks happening. The first little trick I think a lot of women do, which is just sleeping on a towel during that time of the month. So if there are any leaks, it's gonna get on the towel and not your sheets. When I was in Target, I saw that they now make special period underwear that are disposable. So if you do have a heavy flow at night and you commonly get leaks, you might wanna look into these. The biggest little tip during that time of the month, I just try to wear dark colors, dark colored underwear, dark colored pants, black leggings, whatever it is. Okay, so I think we covered a lot today, but if you do want me to do an entire separate dedicated video going more in depth on PMS and your hormones and how to balance hormones, I am happy to do that. So let me know. And also don't forget to use my code down in the description box to try Ritual and get 10% off your first three months. I cannot recommend these enough. They're such an amazing transparent brand and their products are just top-notch quality. So with all of that said, thank you as always so much for watching and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye.